some reading. Let's do some Shakespeare. Are you ready to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing end them, to die to sleep no more, and by sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished, to die to sleep to sleep, perchance to dream. Aye, there's a rub, for in that sleep of death what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's a respect that makes calamity of so long life, for who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the laws delay. I'm actually reading faster than my thing, so I'm going to make it even faster. To be or not to be, that is a question whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing end them, to die to sleep no more, and by sleep to sleep we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks of flesh is heir to, tis a consummation valley to be wished, to die to sleep to sleep, perchance a dream eye, there's a rub, for in that sleep of death what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause, that a respect that makes calamity of so long life, for who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's good humility, the pangs of despise to love, the loss of late, the insults of office and the spurn, that the patient merit of the other takes, when he himself lives quite as make with bare bodkin, oh, a little bit too fast there, I'm going to read it off my phone so I can get actual speed. To be or not to be, that is the question, whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing in them, to die to sleep no more, and by sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. It is a consummation of valley to be wished, to die to sleep, to sleep, perchance a dream, either as a rub, for in that sleep of death what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There is respect that makes calamity of so long life, for who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despise love, the loss delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes, and he himself might as quiet as make with a bare bodkin, who would fartle spare to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country, from whose born no traveller returns, puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others we know not of. Thus conscience doth make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sickly door with a pale cast of thought, and enterprises of great pith and movement with a great regards their currents turn awry and lose in name of action. I lost it at the end there, but that was pretty good. How did I do? How did I do? Did I do it? Did I mess up? I probably messed up a little bit, but that's okay.